we have discussed the introduction of computers actually we are discussing the chapter number 1 from our textbook that is introduction to computers so in our last class we have discussed the computers okay we have discussed that it's an electronic device that can process the data at a very high speed and it can take the input from the user and generate process it and generates the output okay and computer can do all these tasks with the help of two major parts one is hardware and second one is software hardware is the tangible part and software is the non tangible part means set of instructions which are used to operate the hardware we discussed that there are some examples of the hardware like all the physical components like keyboard mouse joystick and the touch pad light pen speakers monitors microphone uh, and uh, scanners digital cameras lcds these all are the example of hardware or all the internal components such as uh, memory chip lan card vga cards motherboard these all are the physical components so they are considered as the hardware and software are the instructions which are non tangible part which you cannot touch you cannot see but they are used to operate the hardware okay without software computer or the hardware is dumb machine it cannot do anything itself it needs human instructions to operate okay then we discuss that whatever the data we are giving to the computer that is called input computer process it means pass it through certain stages there are internal circuitry inside the computer that is responsible to process the data which is given to the computer and then after processing it generates the output which is called information and this whole cycle is called information processing cycle which is consisting of four parts input processing output and storage computer provides the storage capability as well so in future if you want to view your data you can view the information you can see the information so it has a storage capacity or storage capability as well right so then we discuss that input means to receive the data and this input can be given to the computer with the help of input devices processing means to perform any of the operation like addition subtraction multiplication division or arranging the uh, data reordering the data this these all are called the processing okay and after processing the data becomes the information okay similarly the output is the processed data means the information that we get after processing that is called output and it can be seen it can be taken with the help of output devices so whatever the data computer is giving to us after processing that is output and whatever the data we are giving to the computer before processing for processing purpose that is input and storage means that after the once you get the result after processing if you want to save it for future use it can be stored in some of the storage devices and there are so many storage devices available in the market like hard disk usb memory disk or memory sticks uh, blu ray disk cds dvds right these all are the examples of stor storage devices okay okay then we discuss the difference between data and information we discuss that data is unprocessed data It, the raw facts and figures which does not have any uh, independently any meaning okay and uh, information is the processed data which is meaningful which is useful this, that, that is purposeful okay or we can say that organized form of data is called information okay then we discuss that why we use the computers what is the purpose of using the computers so we discuss that the computer is a machine that is a full flesh packet we can say that gives us the facility of all the other devices with the task which we can perform with different type of uh, gadgets or different type of devices those all are all these tasks can be done with the help of one single device that is computer okay when you if you want to compute or if you want to Uh, do the calculation you need a calculator you want to make a phone call to your friend you want to communicate with your friend so we use telephone okay or if you want to uh, send a letter 
to let's suppose a school wants to send a letter to the parents to to define or to tell the progress of the child so they can send through the courier services okay similarly if you want to design a project or if you want to make an assignment so what you will do you will use a paper and the pen to design the assignments right so all these tasks can be done with the help of one smart or single device computers compute inside the computers you can do the calculations you can perform the calculator as well calculator is available you can make a phone call to your friend as well with the help of computers you can send the email as well okay uh, with the help of email services which are provided by the computers similarly with the help of uh, word and different application software the student can design the project and the assignments right so the computers gives us the facility through which we can perform the numerous tasks that is called versatility of the computers that's why we call it the versatile machine versatile machine means it can perform so many tasks right different variety of tasks could be performed right so why we use the computer because it can perform the calculations and it can perform the task at a very high speed okay the speed is one of the major uh, advantage or the major feature of the computers okay it can gives us the result at a very fast speed right it also has the storage capability we have some portable and um, small storage devices available nowadays in those storage devices we can save our data so future they could be used in future they could be utilized okay so हमारे पास स्टोरेज डिवाइसेस की भी कैपेबिलिटी स्टोरेज की भी कैपेबिलिटी होती है कंप्यूटर्स में अब ऐसा नहीं है कि आपने असाइनमेंट बनाया है स्टोर करने के लिए आपने इसको कहीं कबर्ट में कहीं किसी जगह पे सेव किया कंप्यूटर के अंदर स्टोरेज डिवाइसेस अवेलेबल हैं हार्ड डिस्क मेमोरी स्टिक्स और मेमोरी कार्ड्स एस डी जैसे हम कहते हैं सिमिलरली यू हैं तो इतनी स्मॉल स्टोरेज डिवाइस अवेलेबल हैं कि आप अगर उसको एक जगह से दूसरी जगह कैरी करना चाहें तो यू कैन इजीली कैरी देम एज वेल ओके द एनदर एडवांटेज इज द एक्यूरेसी ऑफ द डेटा मींस कंप्यूटर गिव्स अस द रिजल्ट एट अ वेरी हाई एक्यूरेसी द रिजल्ट दैट इज गिवन और द आउटपुट दैट इज गिवन बाय द कंप्यूटर दैट इज एक्यूरेट रिजल्ट ओके that is um, error free result okay error jab ho sakta hai jab humne designing time pe humne program design karte time usme koi error kya ho otherwise aapne jo instructions di hongi computer perform the task as is it is as you have given in the instruction okay it perform the task at a great accuracy at a very high accuracy okay लेट सपोज अगर आप कोई लैंडी कैलकुलेशन है वेन यू डू दो लैंडी कैलकुलेशन विद बाई योर ब्रेन मैनुअल कैलकुलेशन करते हैं कॉपी पेपर पे आप कैलकुलेशन करते हैं तो देर आर चांसेस ऑफ एरर बट वेन यू डू इट विद दिल्प ऑफ डिवाइस देर इज नो चांस ऑफ द एर ओके ओके इट प्रोवाइड द कम्युनिकेशन टूल्स एज वेल we have different ways with the help of computers we can communicate whether your friend or the family members are living every anywhere in the world you can communicate with them you, whether they are living in america or canada or anywhere you can make a phone call or you can uh, send an email to them ab aap dekhe communication pehle before computers it was expensive and it was difficult as well अगर आप किसी को लेटर सेंड करना चाहते थे तो कोरियर सर्विसेज के थ्रू आप सेंड करते और करते थे और एरिया की बेसिस पर डिपेंड करता था कि कितने डेज लगे थ्री डेज फोर डेज फाइव डेज राइट और अगर आप फोन कॉल करते हैं तो उसके चार्जेस भी डिफरेंट होते थे द पीपल हु आर लिविंग इन द डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड यू मे हैव टू पे द डिफरेंट चार्जेस राइट but with the help of computers the commun communication has become cheaper you can have you ju you can just have a internet you need to have a internet connection only 
and you have to pay the charges for the internet connection only right after that you can communicate with any of the person in the world wherever he is living or wherever he is available that charges are not different koi charges different nahi hote hain koi मनी रिक्वायर्ड नहीं होती है चाहे किसी भी जगह पे हो यू कैन कम्युनिकेट विद द कंप्यूटर्स इजीली एंड विद इन लेस अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम जब आप ईमेल सेंड करते हैं तो अब आप कर, आप कहीं पर भी हैं आपके फ्रेंड्स कहीं पर भी हैं किसी भी पार्ट में हैं वर्ल्ड के वहां पे आपकी ईमेल विद इन सेकेंड पहुंच जाती है सो कम्युनिकेशन हैज बिकम ईजियर बाई द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ कंप्यूटर एंड इट हैज बिकम चीपर एज वेल so another thing another thing come in the communication as well that when you search the information or when you want to design an assignment you need to have you need to search the data you need to search the information so if you do or if you search the information manually uh, through the libraries get the books different type of books and then get the information from that that is time consuming process but with the help of google or with the help of computers the searching has become very easier you can get the data within a second from different resources okay from thousand and thousand resources okay and we also discuss that computer is a reliable machine it is long term uh, hum hamare paas ye device long term chalti hai reliable hoti hai consistent hai versatile hai